Hey, hey, what's going on, Gemini? My, 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 Gemini. It is mid-month January. Indeed, indeed it is. This is Scorpion Reds. I am back at it. All right, we are back at it again. All right, find out what's going on January the 15th through the 31st. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Sorry so much for the uh, delay in the uploads. I need to invest in the camcorder. That's all I can say. So, if this got up a little bit late, I do apologize. I do have a good announcement, though. Yay! Because of all of the love and support that you guys have given to the channel, um, the uh, personal bookings, and you guys sending love donations um, when the videos resonate with you guys, it has... Um, created enough money for me to go and purchase seven new decks so i will have seven new awesome decks that are going to be coming out and you will see them in february and whatever sign has the most views whatever the um whatever signs have the most top two views um i will be doing a bonus video for them with the new decks um one of three of the decks are from um a youtuber and you can check her out. Her name is Mystic Moon Tarot. Again, it's Mystic Moon Tarot. And she has a Twin Flame Oracle deck and like Shadow decks and things like that. So it's going to be a really, really good treat. And it's going to be able to offer us a deep dive into the situation. So again, that is Mystic Moon Tarot. And thank you guys so much for the donations and the love and the support that you guys have given to the page because it's allowed me to invest and for the page to grow. And so, you know, some of these decks can have a rest. All right. So house announcements. If anyone would like to book a personal and private reading, go ahead and click that about tab. All right. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot Essence. Simply book me again at Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. And if you would like to give a page donation, um, if this video resonated with you and you just want to send some love and just say thank you, or you know, if you just want to say hey, go ahead and buy you a couple more decks, or just want to throw like four dollars in on me getting a well needed camcorder, you can go ahead and click that um description and there's a hyperlink down there for my PayPal. Okay, let's get into the reading, all right? So <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, Father God, I just wanted to thank you for this transition for the sign of Gemini. Um, Gemini has learned a lot, and there's still a lot to learn for the sign of Gemini. And going into the year of 2019, um, please give the sign of Gemini some words of wisdom, some words of encouragement, some words of strength. Um, please give it not please give Gemini guidance to help them open up their third eye to you know be more intuitive and, and, and make wise decisions and be able to you know with a fine tooth comb be able to find whatever it is that they need to find to protect the energy around them and make sure that the people around them are you know, people that are positive and needed. And sometimes you got to literally with that fine tooth comb, go through your life and sort people out and, you know, make purges. So I feel like this month, all right, is a purging month for Gemini. And um, I feel like Gemini is developing a level of strength. And, you know, you already know how to use your voice. You know, one thing about Gemini is, never shy of speaking how they feel but it's about speaking it and putting that action into play and being serious about it so gemini is getting to that point where they're getting to that level of strength and i thank you father god for that strength and that endurance and that determination please give a sign of gemini guidance mid-month january 2019 thank you so much for all your wisdom and your blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and the future thank you so much please give us guidance for the sign of gemini for december oh lord for january <laughs> for january thank you for the lessons that we learned in december excuse me please give them guidance please give the sign of gemini guidance for january all right, 15th through the 31st, 2019. Thank you so much. Yes. And some coffee. 
my mind all the way back in December. Uh-uh. December must have been a month to remember for you guys. What in the world happened in December? What happened in December, Gemini? Something must have happened in December. What y'all had shit popping off in December, honey? Ooh, excuse me. About to knock my whole self over to the floor. Now, that would have been a sight now, wouldn't it? Got up a lot of red stuff, fell down on the floor, and I reading, child. Leaning over, trying to do something on her caputa. On her caputa. All right, this is it. Thank you, spirit. Please give a sign of Gemini guidance. All right, straight like that, straight like that, though, what we do. You ain't forgiving them? You ain't trying to hurt? Okay. Gemini, that's how we rocking off. That's how we rocking off like that. You busting shots like that, Gemini. <clears throat> You say, I don't forgive you. Don't try to come around me trying to ask for forgiveness and stuff like that. You know that you were being sneaky, that you were being deceitful and conniving, and that you were trying to manipulate me. You were trying to man manip mentally manipulate me to get away with the bullshit that you were trying to pull off. I don't forgive you. I don't forgive you. You came in my life, and me and my kids were good, and we didn't need that energy. I don't forgive you, so please go to fuck somewhere, okay? What is this? The Three of Cups? Yeah, this person was cheating on you. This person was most definitely cheating on you. They was celebrating with you and was celebrating with somebody else. This person wanted you to live in a non-traditional lifestyle. They wanted to have you and her and him and, <laughs> and Shem. Girl, don't let me tell it. Mm-mm. Some of y'all, he wanted you, her, him, and Shem. <laughs> when I'm talking about a non-traditional life, I mean a non, a real non-traditional life. Like, I feel like this person, for some of y'all, it was just that this person wanted you to be in a three-way affair they wanted it to be you and somebody else or just a lot of body else's they just wanted to have you in the house and they wanted to run around and do what they wanted to do and put their foot in whatever shoe with foot whatever shoe was out there that they foot could fit in they was wearing it you know what i'm saying but then there's another group of y'all y'all find it out that you know what i'm saying not only was the person that you thought that this person was cheating on you with. Yeah, they were cheating on you with that person too. But this person was cheating on you with someone of the same sex too. So, especially for some of y'all Gemini men, you could find out that maybe the girl that you were talking to, you know, this best friend that you thought was a best friend and you was wondering why they so close and stuff like that. Yes, yeah, because, you know, they got something a little bit more going on than what the fuck you knew. Mm-hmm. And oh boy, did that secret come the fuck out. That secret came the fuck on out, buddy. Mm-hmm. And it was something that was deep and something that was dark. Something that they did not want to come out. And it, this person feels very shamed about. And now in Gemini, you running around out here trying to tell it all. That's honestly. <laughs> you telling anybody that could listen. You know this motherfucker? <laughs> Patty Boots. You done caught this motherfucker. And, and the reason why you going about it the way that you are, Gemini, is because this person was trying to manipulate you mentally. This person was just trying to use you. Like, that's how you feel. Like, you, you feel manipulated. You feel taken advantage of, like... You let this person into a certain side of you or let in, or you told them certain things that only this person or maybe a few people know about. And this person took that and used that to their advantage to con you, to manipulate you, to twist your mind up. And you know what I'm saying? To kind of brainwash you where you couldn't see this sneaking. You know what I'm saying? That they were doing for, for a good little minute. But this person got away with that shit. You you found out you found you found out about this. I mean this this is a motherfucker. This is a motherfucker here. Uh huh. Devious, deceitful, 
willing to manipulate Khan and fight to the death almost to win. You wasn't going to win this battle with this nasty motherfucker. It was just like you had to put your swords down and you realized like this, is a, this isn't a fight that I need to fight. This isn't a battle that I'm going to win. This is not a battle that I'm going to win. And I'm like, listen, this is a three-party relationship. This person is out there partying with somebody else. And the reason why this shit is not going to win is because the person that this person is really in love with, I could never be that person. This person is living an undercover, non-traditional lifestyle. <clears throat> and it's and it's out in the open now. I don't I don't found out about it. And for some of y'all, y'all are still holding on to this. You know what I'm saying? It's like something about this relationship with this situation. Y'all feel like it's something of value there that y'all are holding on to. But the thing is, that's why this person did this. And they selected you because they knew you wasn't going to go nowhere. You got to understand. People who do con work and shit like that, they know they know how to spot a vet. And they knew you weren't going to go nowhere. Look at this person sneaking and doing shit while you sleep. And that's no disrespect, Gemini, because I know a lot of Geminis are not that green. But whoever this is that I'm talking about right here, this person in this third party relationship, they knew that they they knew that you were sweet for. They got you right where they want you. You ain't going nowhere. Okay? And then I'm also going to say as well, um, you know, you don't forgive them, but you're not going nowhere. You do not forgive him or her, but you are not going any goddamn where. Because even though you know that this is a battle that you're not going to win, that this is non-traditional, for some reason, you just, you're not going nowhere. You staying put. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I feel like. You feel like it's something, a substance with this person where it make you feel like you need to hold on to it because you ain't going to get nothing else. And I don't know why you feel like that, but you need to work on yourself with that because that's a real fucked up way to be in your brain that you feel like you got to hold on to something. That wants you to live, I want you to put up with this. Like, for real? I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to reel it back a little bit. Even if it's not, you know, that this person is out there... In fucking bathhouses and doing weird ass goddamn shit to some god, I don't know. It's something where this person did something where you cannot forgive it, okay? Because this person put you in a battle where you were destined to lose and was out here doing the most fucked up things out there that you could not forgive. It was just like you could not forgive it. You know what I'm saying? You can't forgive it. You know? Like this person was really out here. And like I said, this person was cheating on you. And destroyed your union, your marriage. Okay? So if this is not someone that is out there doing something where they are messing with the same sex behind your back. And this was something that you were completely unaware of. They were out there cheating and, and doing whatever the fuck they was doing so much that it completely destroyed your marriage. And you do not want to be with them anymore. And you're filing divorce. Okay? But the first thing that came to my mind when them cards fell out is that someone was with her, him, and Shem. That's what popped in my head. It's just something, look, this person is really ashamed. This person is closeted. Do you understand? This person has been trying to get away and has been trying to hide this for a very long time. And that is why this person... Is unhappy a lot. That is why this person moves the way that they move. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they're constantly hiding the beautiful person who they are inside because they don't see it as beautiful. They see it as something to be shameful that they need to hide and they need to manipulate people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ugh, because they cannot live in their truth. And they fuck with people that they know are easy victims, people that they know are not going to go anywhere and is going to allow them to keep getting away with their treachery. You are someone's beard. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are a cover-up. 
Whoever this is with this, this, this other shit, you are a fucking cover up. And if that's what you feel comfortable with, you don't forgive them for doing this, but you're not going nowhere. If that's what you feel, if that's what you want your life to be for the rest of your life, to go on ahead, rock out with your cock out. But I'm just telling you, you understand what I'm saying? You are aware of what's going on, so you cannot say that you're not aware of what's going on. And you know that this is a battle that you're not going to win. How can you win a battle in the affection of somebody when you don't have the equipment that they're looking for? <sighs> Boy. And, and, and this shit, this shit right here. It's like someone trying to take advantage of someone while they sleep. Look at this shit. Ugh, let me keep going. Girl. I got a sick ass feeling to my damn stuff. Oh, and I missed a card. This is the Nine of Wands. Clearly, let me make sure one no other cards that it flipped over in this deck that I missed. That was sticking out like a sore thumb. This the nine of damn, um, the nine of damn swords. It's a lot of swords. Listen. Um, Gemini, you going through a lot of mental turmoil and anguish right now with this situation. So I don't know why you're settling, you're settling and trying to hold on to a situation that is literally tearing you up mentally on the fucking inside. You have been up at night crying your eyes out. And you've been trying to figure out why this person don't love you, what you did wrong, why this person wake up with an attitude, like why this, it started out so good and this person was so loving, why this person so mean to me now, so unaffectionate, just so unaware and so unattentive to me. What is the secret that's lurking beneath my feet? You think it's that, but it's a whole something else. It's that too, though. This person like a lot of pussy. This person likes everything. Hey, boy. Oh, spirit is trying to tell you this person that you were in love with, that you got these rose color glasses on, that you were not. noticing the signs about. Uh, well, the door's about to be bust wide the fuck on open, okay? Because whatever you wasn't noticing before, you about to notice real quick now. But I still feel like regardless of what comes out about the situation, you're still in a place where you're not going to fully accept it. You're not willing to accept it. Um, you're looking at it like, no, like, they're just friends. They're just working on some type of creative project. It's, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? And... People just hate and blah, say blah, boo, boo, boo. But you know deep in your heart. You know the truth deep in your heart. You know what's going on, all right? This ain't, this ain't, this ain't no, just no friend. This ain't no work partner. This ain't no just creative partner. Like, no, this is, this is not no creative project and shit. You are not accepting what's right in front of your face, what everyone's been gossiping about, what everybody's been telling you, and you, you ain't been paying attention to the size. So look. And that is also applies to the, to the person that, um, you know, is in just, you know, a regular relationship and you know this person was cheating and stuff like that this is not somebody that they, that they just had some little creative project with and deep in your heart you know that this person has been trying to play this person off to you like it's just a friend or that's my best friend or that's you know my partner at work this is my co-worker or whatever whatever and it's not no goddamn co-worker and, and it might be their best friend, but it's not just their best friend. That's their best, best friend. And this person's been getting away with this shit for a minute here. I feel like this person has been cre carrying this. They done came up with this creative lie about their self and their situation and who they are. And they've been carrying this project that they've created about this, this person that they are want to portray yourself to be they've been carrying it from relationship for relationship 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 it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive to the highest energy finances and career
you feel like it's safe to love this person because he this person helps you out financially and in your heart and in your mind and in your soul you feel like this is your soulmate and you don't want to separate from this person you feel like this person you don't care what nobody says you feel like this person is your soulmate you feel like this is safe for you to love this person okay because <laughs> You feel like this person reminds you from somebody in your past, okay? I just remind you of a situation in your past. That this person reminds you of something in your past. And like I say, like you're really holding on to this situation with this person because you feel like this is your soulmate for whatever reason. You feel like this person came into your life in a time where you needed help with your finances and career. And you felt like that you seen all of the signs telling you that it's safe to love this person. But this person reminds you of something from your past, okay? Um, and someone that you didn't want to reconcile with. And someone that you lost passion for. So this is my thing. If this person reminds you of someone from your past that you don't want to um, reconcile with. And someone that you lost passion for. Why are you holding on to this person? This is this person reminds you of somebody from your past that you lost passion for. And it, that didn't work out. So what the hell make you think that this is going to work out? I honestly feel like what spirit is trying to tell you that you need to look back at your past relationships. And this past relationship is reflective of a relationship that you I don't see recently left from my eyes. I see, I see whatever you, your first big relationship, the one that meant the most to you, the one that devastated you the most from having to separate from this situation with this person reminds you of that, the way that person manipulated you, the way that person deceived you and just everything. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person reminds you of the good and the bad in regards to this person. And you want to hold on to him or her because it's that level of nostalgia there. You know what I'm saying? Because it gives you that home feeling. But that home feeling... Alright, come on. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for the sign of Gemini. 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much. All right, please give me some insight and clarity behind this because I'm really hoping, I'm just going with the first thing popped in what I hear in my head, justice. Come on, you being by yourself. Justice for this person in this situation is you getting away from this situation and being by yourself because you can thrive and be by yourself on your own. Why are you, why are you going to sit there and be someone's cover up for? Do you understand what I'm saying? This person, this lifestyle and everything that this person's been doing, this, this, this lying, this deceiving, this trickery, using people to get by. Because that's basically what this person is doing. Like I said, the five of swords. This is someone willing to do whatever the fuck they got to do by, to win by all costs. You are not going to win in this situation. This person is a master at doing this shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person seen you as someone that was single and someone who was successful on your own and they took advantage of that. And justice for this situation, justice for the situation in this person is you being single and solid by yourself and you cutting this person out of your fucking life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, this person does not have any patience for you, nor do they really want to take the effort that it takes to work on this to make it build something. This person is really distracted by other things you understand what i'm saying where this person is completely missing the harvest with you this person is not even emotionally offering you anything i feel like you see this fish in this cup down here why would you come to me with a cup with the fucking fish in it that shit better have some hennessy in it like what are you doing <laughs> but do you understand what i'm saying gemini this person was at, was offering you wish-washy fishiness anyway. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person don't know how to offer love. This person don't know how to show you any type of affection. This person is... is Listen. You have other things to do and other things to be. All right? Other than someone's fucking beard. That is not... The purpose that you were in this world, that is not what is destined for you. That is not 
the destination for your journey, okay? You being someone's cover-up and being someone's beard and or you being someone's goddamn doormat for them to keep walking in and on, in and on, in and on whenever the fuck they want to come in and get turned on. And as soon as, you know, they get what they want, they back out the door doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Not offering you no emotion. Not really trying to work towards anything. I feel like this person came in, paid two or three bills, try to fake like they was offering you something. Where you could be emotionally stable and shit like that. Or, excuse me, that's the damn, um, they came in, like I said, offered you some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? To fake like they were trying to really invest and put some work in you know like they pay two or three bills or something to make it seem like they're a good person and to, to, to manipulate you to think that you had a good thing you know what i'm saying and then as soon <laughs> honey as soon as you got comfortable you understand they came and try to turn your world upside down but the lord is trying to tell you that is not the purpose of where you're destined to be and you need to get this situation handled. You need to work on yourself, okay? How can you work on yourself and you got a goddamn scumbag in your lair? Every single one of them pinnacles that you build for yourself to try to get yourself together, this person going to take that shit. Hmm. Okay? I feel like in this relationship that you did feel happiness, this person did bring some type of joy and smile on your face and you did feel childlike in this relationship but is this relationship childish and i say that because it's like you're searching for some level of truth and you're not getting it you're not getting any level of truth you're not getting any clarity in this situation other than you looking at this, because I feel like some of y'all in y'all head, y'all like, I thought this motherfucker was gay. I can't believe she's saying that. Yeah, I'm saying that. I see that shit right there. First thing that popped in my head, and I really hate to try to give that type of news to people, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. That was the first thing that popped in my head. Her, him, and Shem. And I play it, I joke a lot, but I said, oh, no, 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 no. If I said that shit in my head when I seen that card, I need to say it. This person ain't going to give you no truth. So you can go to him looking for truth if you want to. You want trash it. Listen. This person don't really care about who you are and what you really have to offer and what you have to bring to the world and, you know, what your star potential is. This person don't see none of that. This person really don't value you. This person is really just... Therefore, the material for the material fleshly realm of what you can provide. But you, you know, you allow this person, not only just this person, but I feel like even the person before that and the person before that, you have a toxic habit of attracting low vibrational people to you. Because you don't know your worth. And I'm going to keep that shit a buck with you. And I don't give a fuck if y'all feel, y'all can feel like y'all can talk all this shit if you want to in the comments, you're going to get blocked. I'm keeping it 100 with you because at the end of the day, no fucking body that would know. I don't give a fuck even if this person is gay, if this person is cheating. What difference does it make if he's cheating with a woman or with a fucking man? This person is cheating on you and dogging the fucking dog shit out of you. I mean, this is manip mental manipulation at its finest. Why in the fuck are you holding on and wanting to stay on and stay in a situation where you're late up night fucking crying and stressing yourself out trying to figure out the truth of what's going on? You gotta want better for yourself. Like I said, people like this, they don't go and just pull these type of games on anybody. They know what type of people they, 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 they like vultures. They seek you out like, oh, she look like she weak. Or, oh, he look like he weak. That's just like most gold diggers. Do you think that most gold diggers is going after real strong, you know, self, self, uh, reliant and mentally strong men? Fuck no. They know, they know how to spot a victim. Don't just easily sit yourself out there to just look like, oh, I'm 
You know? Because guess what this person got you right now? This person has got you in a place where you are bitter. You are wicked. You are snapping at people. People feel like they're walking around eggshells on you, like around you. You don't have nothing positive to say. You don't have... I mean, it's just really, really sad. You allow this person to come and take you to a place where you're in a low vibration. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, seriously. You fighting a battle that you're going to lose. Like, of course, I'm going to wake up every day and I'm going to be a moody, a moody, irritable bitch. Especially when you was better off by yourself. Come on now. But it don't, it don't matter. Because let me tell you something. Regardless if you like it or not, your world is changing. Okay? It's changing because the Lord said, I'm calling justice. Enough of this shit. Because you're going to hold on to this and to this. <laughs> Look. Mm-mm. Because I'm not even about to play with you tonight, Gemini. I'm not about to do it. I'm not about to do it because you're better than this. You're fucking better than this. And if I could see you, I bet you you're beautiful as shit. Or you handsome as shit. You fucking better than this. And even if this is a female, like if this is a guy, if you're, if you're a girl, it's a, people try to make it seem like it's cool. Uh, my girl got a girlfriend. Cheating is cheating. That shit don't feel right if someone is negatively, emotionally void to you because they went somebody else. That shit ain't cool. And a lot of times these bitches out here be cheating on this lesbian shit. You think they want to share their bitch with you? No. You think that other girl won't be with you? No. That girl won't be with her. They don't want you in the equation. I don't know why people try to glorify that shit. Like my girl got a girlfriend. Like that shit's cool. That shit is not fucking cool. Come on now. And fuck a five of goddamn wands again. I mean, a five of swords. You want to be victorious and recognized in a situation where someone broke your heart. <laughs> Come on, Gemini. This is really ridiculous. You want to be glorified and you want to be victorious in a situation where you're dealing with a third party energy that you are losing in currently because you are on... The end of the stick with the one that's getting the less attention right now. You're the one being left at home. And you're trying to heal your heart from this shit. So you can keep the face and keep up the front of being victorious. You understand what I'm saying? So you're trying to push this heartbreak down. So you can put off this. You know, because I feel like whoever you've been arguing with in regards to this losing situation right here. Because you're losing. You're losing. But you're trying to keep up that front because you want to have that confidence because you want the attention from someone that ain't paying you no fucking attention. You're seeking attention in a third party losing battle. Do you understand what I'm saying? Here go that five of fucking swords again. And I'm telling you, Gemini, if you do not put this shit down, this is warning you. If you think that this shit got ugly before, whoever this person is that you are battling with, that you're trying to look for this attention and you, this is about to go to a place where it's probably about to be some physical battles at this point. Because this person is, is, is playing you mentally, mentally and this person is playing someone else. And I think the other person that they're playing is a little bit more vicious and treacherous than you are. And this person is just sitting back and allowing this shit to happen. And eventually, this shit's about to get physical. This is a card where this shit is about to get to the point and no return. This treachery here. Because this person that's stirring this shit up. This person, look at his face. This person don't give a fuck. This person winning on both sides of the, of the, of the fence. Listen. This person don't give a fuck. This person knows that you are going to sit there and you're going to delay your world. You have your world in your hand. You've been threatening to leave. And it's like you're not going to go no fucking where. This person just... Uh, Listen to me. Listen to me when I tell you. You are dealing with a wicked son of a bitch. Either that or Gemini is being a wicked, mental, mentally manipulating son of a bitch. 
like on some real ass shit like this is some real crazy ass energy right here and i can't even believe that you want to stay why gemini please watch this and understand that you have free will and like do I'm just going to let him sit there for a hot second. I'm going to sip my coffee. Gemini. If you don't pull it the fuck together. I ain't pulling no more cards. I'm just going to leave that right there. If you don't pull this shit the fuck together and let this shit go, this shit is beneath you. And I mean it's beneath you. You are better than this. You know better than this. This is a negative attachment. It's a codependent situation. I don't even know why because you're fucking strong and single on your own. Why are you telling yourself that you need this? I love y'all, Gemini. If y'all want a personal private reading, y'all let me know. Because I really don't have nothing more to say about this situation right here. Because this is ridiculous right here. No, fuck it. Spirit, clarify this. You refuse to drop the burden to this third-party relationship. You're addicted to You're addicted to it. You refuse to drop the burden. Well, I didn't need to pull no cards to tell you that. I'm gone, Gemini. Hopefully you would have, would have listen, understanding this is free, you have the free will. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you don't like the way that this reading sounds, change it. Change it. And if you're getting mad because you know what I'm saying is the truth. And if the video doesn't resonate with you, don't go in the comments say, oh, I did it. Because I'm going to block you. I'm letting y'all know right now. So if you want to get blocked, then go ahead. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, everybody has free will. You have the will. You have the right. It is your life. It is your energy. Only thing I can do is advise you of the energy that is coming up. You understand? And that you have the free will to change it. Because at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to be out here looking like this. If I could avoid it, I would. I would. So I love y'all. If y'all want a personal private reading, click that about tab. Otherwise, I'm gone.